This is my little cousin Ollie. And he's worried that he's not eating enough good stuff in his diet. So we're going to show you some really simple midweek meals. <laughs> <laughs> This is our fish finger recipe. We're gonna make our very own homemade fish fingers with our twist, the red pepper, and serve it with some chips and mushy peas, okay? So we'll start with the chips. Obviously, potato. Yep. Okay, keep it nutritionally good, we're gonna leave the skin on. They're already washed. If you can just cut them, Jamie, into some wedges. I can do. Does Ollie like chips? Are these your favourite, though, Ollie? Yeah, he, he loves these. Yeah. So we make some really simple homemade chips, or wedges, I suppose. All we're gonna do is throw the potatoes in there. Don't worry, I don't like Ben either. <laughs> a little splash of oil, and then we're going to flavour ours with some dried herbs, whatever you've got in the cupboard, mixed herbs, thyme, rosemary, whatever you fancy, and a little bit of salt and pepper. So really, this is just going to take the same amount of time that oven chips do, you die. Because we're cutting them up nice and small, exactly yeah. the same time as oven chips, but you're making them fresh, which means they're cheaper, and you can put whatever flavourings and herbs you like on them. Get your hands in, kind yeah. of get them all mixed up. Messy. And then into our ovens. That's 180 degrees Celsius mm -hmm. for a good head start. They're only about 40 minutes in total, but get those in. So we can concentrate on our fish fingers, which is going to have our sweet red pepper twist. Nice. What? I know. This Ollie says the bit he's really worried about, because he's not a big fan of vegetables at the moment. <laughs> he won't even know the vegetables are in there, I promise. Jay, if you can just cut that into rough chunks. When we're going to make our fish fingers, rather than flour, egg and breadcrumb, we're going to do flour, red pepper puree and breadcrumb. So this just goes nice and rough and ready in here. He's getting a bit anxious. Does this take long? It's or? a very, very quick dish. Quick very, dish. very quick dish. Lots of noise a minute as we make our puree. Cover his ears. <laughs> there we go. But that's all we need. Nice and simple. Remember, at this point, you're in control of how much seasoning you're putting in. You control how much salt is going into your diet. And the other two stages of our pan eight are flour and then the breadcrumbs. This is just stale breadcrumbs or any sort of stale bread that's been blitzed up. And this is our fish. Dirt cheap. Have you ever used this before? River cobbler. River cobbler? It's very, very cheap. It's kind of a meaty, fleshy white fish, about half the price of cod. Mm, Similar sort of texture and it will, you know, kids are going to look at it and think that's a fish finger. Nice. So that's exactly what we need. So big, chunky fish fingers like that. Yep. And then if you can just pass it through the flour, pepper and the breadcrumb to yep. coat it. Well, he says he's concerned that this isn't the way he usually panes. How do you normally do it? With the egg? Uh, yeah, have you done this way before? No, no I you normally use egg. Put the spoon down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh it takes right. just off How are we going to do this? Fish into our flour. Yeah. Then into this one. Give it a quick stir. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's it. Awesome. Then into our breadcrumbs. That's good. <laughs> it's easy, isn't it, Ollie? Yeah. <laughs> and while we're waiting to finish that, we just need to bring some water okay. up to the boil. They're not ready. Just yet. Are you happy that's. Yeah? Good. <laughs> Our potatoes have had uh, a good sort of 20 minute head start, so the fish can go in there now as well, nicely coating our breadcrumbs. Yep. So they need another sort of 15 minutes. And we've got a bowl of our frozen peas, so literally just frozen peas. They can still be frozen to use, or you can yep. defrost them, mm. but they go into our boiling water. And they need about three minutes, come up to the boil and bubble away, and then we can show you how to make mushy peas. Now that our peas are cooked, we can drain those off. Mm. And all we need to do is make them mushy. Peas back in mm. with a mushy machine. Mushy machine. A little bit of milk and a knob of butter. Okay, and that's going to go in there and make the whole thing nice and mushy. Doesn't have to be a puree, but you do want to kind of smash and smush them up. In the meantime, I'll get all our other bits out and then we can have some lunch. Look at those fish fingers, Ollie. They are some wacky looking fish fingers. All we need to do, plate them up. He really wants them now. We're coming, Ollie. We're coming. So, no. A few of our potato wedges, and if you put just a little dollop of our mushy peas we in there, we want as well. our food. We want our food. <laughs> we want our food. We want some food. We want some food. Come on, Ollie. We want Not some quite food. There. Come on, come on. Well, there we go. It's our version of child-friendly fish fingers and mushy peas that mum and dad will love too. Sorted. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Eat it in one. Mm, they good? He says he absolutely <laughs> loves it. Mm. See? He wants a big one. He, he wants, wants more. Plate. He wants more. <laughs> <And two. laughs> I think it's gone down well. Ollie's off to do the washing up after a fantastic <laughs> meal, but we would love to know what your ideas for kids' meals are. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Bye!